song. And Dragon Warrior. Just seems kind of weird to me. For the longest time, I never thought I'd get used to calling these Dragon Quest games the actual intended name since the first four games and even Part 7 on the PlayStation were Dragon Warrior. Now, though, it's just the opposite. It's kind of weird calling them Dragon Warrior games again. Anyways, hello and welcome to video number 8. Today we start chapter 3. Taloon, or whatever his name was in the DS version of the game, I'd have to look that up. So I only played the DS version once. His dream is to become the world's greatest merchant. Okay. Oh, goody. I work behind a, behind a cash register. Hmm, why does that sound like real life for me? Hmm. At least I live close to where I work. That's always convenient. I can just walk to work. Yep, I'm the cashier, basically put. wait around for customers to show up. Eerily similar to my real life job. <laughs> Granted, I do have other things to do in the meantime, unlike this guy where he just literally stands there waiting. buy something you can't equip, that's not, you know, I mean, I could say no for your benefit, but my boss might not like that. Besides, you could be buying it for a friend like party members here. Buy it, then give it to one of your other party members that can't equip it. Chain Sickle is available now. Well, it was, he's gonna buy it. Yep. Dang it, there it goes. No, it's an N. Copper Sword is only a hundred bucks. Of course, that's the case in most of the more recent games. Unlike the first game, NES Original, where it was 180. Ok, 
Okay. Item return. Boomerang. Yeah. Mentioned it already in previous videos. How the boomerang does it multi-target in this game like it will in pretty much every game that has that weapon since this. Starting with five. about all there is to do for this first part. Yeah. This chapter starts all kind of boring. Just sitting here reading text. But there is a purpose to this. You're building up money to buy your own weapon selection. Other than how boring this beginning of this chapter is, I really don't remember much about this. I mean, we'll see if I, you know, recollect anything, you know, remember anything as I go along, but... This is a busy weapon shop for such a small town. A hundred four. That's all I get for. Well, I guess for one day that ain't too bad. I guess. Could be better, but could be worse too. bucks for one day's pay. Still don't have enough to buy anything useful. I mean, at this point, could leave town and start grinding, fighting enemies for money, but Look at these stats. Basic clothes, no weapons at all. Yeah, I wouldn't last too long in enemy combat like that. So that's probably not the best idea. Yeah. Another day on the job. That's the second person today. I mean, we've all done that at least once, I'm sure. Go to buy something and realize you don't quite have enough money for it. Of 
is for me. The problem usually is is I forget, keep forgetting to add sales tax into the price. Have enough for the base price of the item, but not enough to cover the sales tax, and therefore not enough. Somebody come back to sell a chain sickle again. Actually, no, never mind. Even if they did, I still don't have enough money to buy it myself anyway. That's the idea. At least for me on this playthrough is what I intend on doing. Do this until I A, get the money for it, and B, somebody sells it again so it's there on the inventory. Start this chapter off with with a decent least <coughs> decent with a decent weapon, not the best that Taloon can equip, but at least I don't think it is. Why do people keep asking if this is a weapon shop? Can't you see the huge signs by the door? Signs that are all probably bigger than you are, actually. Yeah, those signs are bigger than the people who walk in. So what I mean really that'd be like somebody walking into where I work is this ace hardware no the sign just says it is but it's actually a cafe really of course I couldn't say that to a customer I'd get written up for being rude but yeah people that do that, the less money you make, though. I mean, it's understandable on their part, but... As I think, script, AI script purposes, I think the money you make for each day is dependent on how much money the store makes. about what I made yesterday. So how much do I have in total, by the way? 200. Okay.
I keep forgetting to check these. I wonder how many items I missed in earlier videos not thinking to check these jars. Keep thinking that's something that only started in later games, like 7 and 8. You didn't bother shutting the door this time? What are you doing down there anyway? You sat down here all day. so like a boss of a job. So many of the jobs I've had before. Bosses sit at their desk all day. You sit down on the job and you get in trouble, but it's okay for them to. Hmm. I still don't have anywhere near enough money to buy it. By the time I do, someone else will come along and buy it before me. I still don't even have half of that yet. Oh, there it goes. And I suppose I could say no and refuse to sell it to him, but... Eh. too worried about it. I don't even have even half, like I was just saying, I don't even have half the money for it yet, so what's the point? By the time I get that kind of money, hopefully it'll be back up. Somebody will sell one again. takes. Ooh. Well, forget that. I'm not going to wait around trying to get that kind of money. No, that'll be available for sale for me to buy. Whatever the price is. Yeah, like I'm going to wait around, do this long enough to get 3500 bucks. Besides that, judging by name, Sword of Malice, I think that sword is cursed. You get cursed when you equip it. At least I think that's what, judging by the name, Sword of Malice makes me think that's one of those items. But either way, yeah, like I'm doing this long enough to get 3500 bucks. Ooh, of course that sword of malice, you know, that helps with that. Double what I got for the last two days combined. Well, no, not double, but... Almost have enough for the chain sickle now. One more day. Okay, 
How many of those lunch items do I have? Only one? Huh. This is the, what, the fourth day now. I think I'd have three of them, or four of them. By the way, I apologize for how boring this must be. Again, I didn't... I forgot it took this long. I haven't played this game in a long time, like I said before. I knew this was a thing, but I forgot how long it took. that was there yes the manager probably kept it for himself seeing as how it was the most valuable item I'll do this in-game day's worth of, of button mashing and text reading. If after this I still don't have enough for the change signal, I'll edit out the remainder of this. Again, apologies for this. I forgot it took so long. I think it's all random anyway, who comes in selling or buying what. Could get lucky and have multiple people selling like the Sword of Malice or the Chain Sickle, earning more money each workday, making this whole process go a lot quicker. come in, <coughs> excuse me, can't talk, someone come in selling a chain sickle, by the end of this work day, this in-game work day, I should have enough money for it, Just my luck. Now that I'm getting close to having enough money for it, nobody's nobody's gonna want to sell one. A lot of people buying thorn whips. That's another item that in later games would multi-target within specific enemy types, at least.
That puts me over the... Yep. Over enough to buy the chain sickle. Now I just gotta wait for someone to actually sell it. Complete this work week. Fifth day, Monday through Friday. Complete this day, then have the weekend off. Well, that's how it usually you know, is in a customary job, I would suppose. But me, I like having my two days a week spread out. You know, have a Sunday off for football season. Like Wednesday or Thursday, have the days off spread out. So when I used to work five days straight, the work week took forever, and the days off went by so fast it didn't even seem like two days. Oh God, back to work for another five days. Okay. Anyone gonna sell a chain sickle here? here now that I have the money for it no not a copper sword I, mean, I suppose I could start with that but... Put a sign up at the door. Unless you come to sell a chain sickle, I'm not interested. Thank you. 
No chain sickle. Damn it. Not so much for my plans for the weekend. Well, whatever. Ages old gig. Okay, just out of curiosity. I'm working six days this week. I better get paid overtime. No, not the thorn. Dang it, game. games in their random crap. Ah, oh, cool. There we go. Thank you. Alright, I quit. I'm not even supposed to be working today. I already put my five days in this week. Yep. I quit. Well, I don't quit first. You know, all together, but I'm taking the rest of the day off. You watch the counter for today. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that gonna... Okay. Um... So he's not gonna sell me anything. That better still be there tomorrow. it is. Since no one bought it for me, I don't think, I think it would still be on the list. Nope, it's my day off today. I'm not working today. Good, it's still there. Wow, from 4 to 24. Mm. Of course, now I don't have a whole lot for armor purchases, but... Alright. Oh, we do have an inn here. Okay. Lakanaba? How you they can how you pronounce that? What are you selling? Oh, speaking of armor, I suppose I can get some wayfarers clothes for now. Yeah, that's definitely out of the question. I'm not gonna. I mean, I suppose I could continue to work for several more days and build up to 700 bucks that way, but yeah. if I do that, I'd edit that out. I already included enough of that on this video. Okay, the 
house of healing or sanctuary or whatever. You... Grandpa Tom. Is that supposed to be a David Bowie kind of thing with Major Tom? Just Major swapped out for Grandpa? Probably not. Probably just trying to make ro rock references where there were none intended. Get out of the way, kid. Hey, don't NPCs do that. What? Side quest. Push you. Okay, I don't remember this part. Push him to the house. Of him. This is kind of rude. I mean, this... Just pushing this poor old dude. Really? This is kind of mean. I guess he don't mind. Hmm, okay. Nine bucks? Really? Oh, well. I guess that's about all there is to do here. Wait a minute, what? I didn't even see that. Way to miss the obvious. Way to go me. Who's your husband? I don't think I need to talk to him. So that's all there is to do here in this town. Alright, I think I'm going to end this here. I know this hasn't been the most entertaining video, but yeah. <clears throat> I'll have to make a note in the descriptions. Skip this video if you don't want to see endless, endless dialogue. And Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.